The Vault Report. Now, Andrew Bolt. In speaking of these attacks, not just on your right to speak, but even on your right to hear other people speak. Now, I've told you how a group linked to American activists is trying to get this show off the air. In fact, get all of Sky News off the air, if they could. It's not enough for these activists to simply not watch Sky News. They want to stop you from watching as well. And that's why they're trying to scare advertisers into dropping their ads here. They're bombarding them. And that's where we are, I'm afraid, these days with debate. Shouting people down, trying to silence them, not arguing. Now, I want to tell you how one of you has fought back. And the funny thing that happened. But let me first stick with this group, Sleeping Giants, it's called. But it's actually a sleeping pygmy. For instance, one of the most active texters is an accounting lecturer at Edith Cowan University. His name, Andrew Priest. He's tweeted dozens of times about me just last Friday. Uh, I have asked Priest to come on the show to discuss whatever he thinks I do wrong, but no response because debate is not what they want. They might lose. Now, Priest is evidence that Sleeping Giants is, is indeed a sleeping pygmy because we did research, uh, which shows that on the day that we looked two weeks ago, Priest alone was responsible for 43% of activity across the 10 top most engaged Sleeping Giants accounts, trying to go for advertisers. A lot of advertisers, they don't know that. They, they get a swarm of texts or tweets they think it's actually a whole crowd of people instead of Andrew Priest and one or two mates, they don't want trouble. And unfortunately, some don't want to defend debate. Now, many of you, when I first told you, said, wrote to me and said, this is outrageous. What can we do to help? How can we tell the advertisers that we back Sky News, that we support debate, that we hate this kind of bullying? Some of you are from the left. I mean, you know, also interested in debate. Well, at this stage, I'll hope to have some plans for you later, but at this stage, look at who does advertise here and write to them, congratulate them, say why, support their business. Now, in fact, one of you has done just that. And I have her email, thanks to Janet Orbison, the Australian newspaper is going to write all about it. Uh, don't miss her column. Cassie is her name. I won't say her surname. Now, Cassie says that she is a member of NIB. That's a health insurance company, which did have a little bit of advertising here, but pulled it. Because I dared to doubt the verdict against Cardinal George Pell. The verdict that he you know, asked, did he really abuse two 13-year-old boys just after mass in a busy cathedral in an unlocked room? Now, I'm not alone in doubting, of course, because you've probably read about the senior lawyers who do, two former prime ministers, commentators, left and right, doubt too. Anyway, Cassie wrote to the NRB, here, NRB, here she is. She said, Sleeping Giants is a far-left activist group, she told them, made up of a few hardcore activists and agitators. The group likes to put pressure on companies to pull advertising from certain outlets because... They don't like particular views that are being broadcast. They engage in bullying tactics to shut down free speech. A word of warning, Cassie writes, a word of warning. If I hear that NIB has succumbed to bullying from sleeping giants and pulls its advertising from Sky, I will move to another health fund. I can be an activist too. Now, NIB seems to have a real problem listening to its customers rather than listening to a couple of activists because Cassie got this curious reply. Thank you for raising your concerns, etc., etc. I can confirm the views expressed on the Bolt Report this week do not reflect those of NIB or many of its members. We can confirm NIB has made the decision not to be included in future segments. 
Christians. Now, Cassie, quite understandably, couldn't believe this. And she responded, I am utterly outraged by your reply. My email was about free speech. My email was sent to NRB to denounce the bullying by sleeping giants and say Andrew Bolt had a right to say what he did. You have completely misunderstood and misrepresented my original email. You imply in your response that you support the actions of sleeping giants, that NIB has succumbed to sleeping giants. Chads, how do you know what many of our members think? Oh, and she points out, I don't think the sleeping giants, being a far left group, supports private health insurance. <laughs> Therefore, I will take action to change my health fund and I will encourage other family members and friends to do likewise. I will forward your reply to as many people as I can. Activism works both ways. What a cracker of a response. Thank you very much for that, Cassie. But here's the punchline. Guess who is the boss of NIB, this enemy of debate, this company which cows to activists? It is Mark Fitzgibbon, the multi-millionaire brother of federal frontbencher, Labor frontbencher, Joel Fitzgibbon. Now, here's Mark Fitzgibbon helping here the far left to shut down debate. If only these same activists knew that this man, this Mark Fitzgibbon, the last time I looked, was earning a salary and bonus of, well, getting up to $2 million a year. Mark, if activists now start going after mega-rich health insurance bosses like you, talking about corporate greed, are you expecting any defence from me? Maybe a platform to put your side? Thank you.